Welcome everyone to this walkthrough of the Labyrinth Virtual Art Gallery in the Somnium Metaverse. Uh, I'm joined here by Laya, who is the brain behind this exhibition. She has conceptualized this exhibition in the form of a maze, uh, which represents the depths of an artist's mind. There are more than 25 artworks displayed in the gallery, and they are all from 13 different artists, all great artists and who have uh, very generously uh, agreed to have their artwork displayed in the exhibit. So we are very excited to do a walkthrough. I'm joined by Laya herself and also by Yaroslav, who is uh, uh, the founder of Art and Coffee Initiative and also the owner of this land parcel in Somnium. Uh, Laya has uh, set up this entire exhibit on her own. She has designed the, the maze where these art uh, pieces are hanging right now. Uh, I say hanging, but they're displayed in, in on the walls of the maze. And uh, we are actually going to go explore the maze um, and metaphorically explore the depths of an artist's mind. So Yaroslav and Laya, let's get going. Let's enter the the space here. This is me. This is my avatar. I'm Himanshu, uh, the founder of Mayaverse, uh, which is an art collection and artist uh, promotion and artist showcase platform. Um, so let's enter the uh, exhibition. Uh, let's go. So Laya, while we are entering the exhibition, we would love to hear uh, your story and get to know you a little better. Hi, uh, I am Laya. I'm a 13-year-old grade 9 artist from India. For a couple of years, I've been doing uh, various arts like acrylic, watercolor, pastel, and color pencils and uh, different mediums. Later, I was curious about a hobby of electronics and programming. They were uh, super fascinating. In both tech and art, I was able to uh, be creative and bring my thoughts into real life. NFTs and digital art seem like a unique intersection between them and that was really fascinating because art and tech are, have very very less things common between them but in this platform they both were participating equally and that was really nice. So then I learned Blender myself seeing a YouTube and Enterprises tutorial. It was hard um, when I started but then I you know, afterwards I got used to uh, using Blender, um, and that's when Clubhouse uh, became famous. Everybody started asking for invites, and I was really lucky to meet uh, Myverse at Clubhouse. He introduced me to Nyla, and she was the one who bought my first NFT, and that's a short brief about me. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Laya. So uh, now that we are in the exhibit, let's take a look around and see what's around us. So I'm actually standing in front of uh, Light Ray by Metageist. Uh, he is one of my favorite artists and he creates these amazing creatures in virtual reality. And um, he has already had uh, two drops on Nifty Gateway. And this is... Uh, uh, one from the second drop that's uh, currently in my personal collection. Uh, what's special about this one is that uh, this is obviously uh, one of the rare ones. This is one of uh, 10 uh, from, from that drop. So uh, you only have 10 editions of Light Ray. Uh, but I, I wanted to start with this because this is a, actually a virtual reality uh, exhibit or a virtual reality art piece uh, so if you have the virtual reality file uh, with you you can actually explore this creature in in a vr uh, environment you can wear your vr headsets and you can get up close and personal with this creature so that felt like a great uh, place to start with uh, being that we are in a, a virtual reality environment and um, also, a great place to start is um, the seismograph. Um, I think it's called Sassimograph. So, uh, it's by Laya. She has created uh, this uh, machine here. So, Laya, tell us about this. So, this uh, was inspired from a boring picture from my physics textbook. That picture seemed very boring and uh, not not so colorful so i wanted to make that picture into an uh, interesting animation and that's when i created this sassimograph uh, usually motion uh, brings life to um, things so i wanted to animate uh, the sassimograph 
Great. And uh, just for everybody who is new to Somnium space or has uh, not explored a virtual exhibition, you can see that uh, the, if you once you come inside the exhibition and you point your mouse at uh, one of the exhibits and you see this blue hand symbol and it's uh, flashing that way, it means that it is actually a link. So as I just clicked on it, um, you have the option of opening it in your browser and actually go to the marketplace. Uh, I believe it is uh, OpenSea. Uh, am I right? Uh, no, I guess it's Rarible. Okay, so this one is on Rarible. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, so you, you can actually follow this link and go to the Rarible marketplace where you can actually purchase this NFT. It's still available. So, all right, let's uh, keep moving then. So as you enter the exhibit, uh, these are the two art pieces that greet you right over there, uh, along with this one at the uh, on the right side. So which one is this lab? So this is from a very famous artist from Rarible. I guess her name is Nifty Lee, if I'm not wrong. Uh, she has done many amazing artworks and most of her Artworks uh, have neon based uh, images. Awesome. And I also want to introduce everyone to the QR code that is right next to the art piece so that if you ever want to go to the link, if you don't find a blue hand icon that is directly linked to the piece, uh, you will have these QR codes. So you can scan the QR code and it will actually take you to the marketplace. So let's keep moving then. Um, let's start from the left side. Uh, on this wall, we have Urbania by Marco Mori. Marco is a very, very famous German artist, and he creates these amazing uh, pieces that are very unsettling, but at the same time, you can't stop looking at them. You, know, you, you they, these creatures have uh, very unique characteristics, as you can see, uh, very bright colors and these tentacles coming out of uh, its head, but it's also very beautiful and um, unsettling at the same time so uh, this is this is one of my favorite ones uh, and then what's going on on this wall which uh, talk to us a little bit about these two Leia. so this bug uh, the art bug is uh, by nf tech he's an artist he's a 2d artist uh, he does um, nice amazing artworks most of them have an amazing concept behind them. So in this art, you should be able to see a lot of uh, programmed languages around uh, the bug, which means the bug in the computer. Uh, so that's what's the meaning of uh, this picture. And the one on the right is also from Nifty Lee. And um, uh, this is also under, um, under her Neon collection. Awesome. Then moving on to uh, this one, this is a uh, glitch photography by Cyber Shakti. She is a artist from uh, Mumbai, India, and this one is called Indian Farmer. I, I love this one because of how uh, vibrant uh, it is. Uh, and, and she has actually used some techniques to uh, add some textures to it. And I, I love the 3D feel that that brings to a 2D photograph. So let's keep moving uh, on our right. Uh, there's another colorful, vibrant painting. Which one is this, Leia? So this is from a famous artist uh, called Yo Little Faces. So he usually uses uh, many colors and uh, he's a 2D artist and an illustrator. Uh, his works are really colorful and uh, vibrant. They indeed are. So uh, let's keep moving. Uh, there are uh, a few exhibits here. Uh, oh, let's take a look at this one from Nyla. This is from her long necky collection, right? Yeah, it is from her. Uh, yeah, so as uh, Laya had mentioned earlier, Nyla is another child artist. She's 12 years old and uh, she is doing some great work. She has actually launched her collection called Long Necky, which is representing uh, women with long neck from all over the world. 
and uh, she was inspired by a dinosaur from uh, uh, an animated uh, cartoon film and that's what uh, she chose as her theme for her genesis collection and um, she not only makes these great artworks but she also supports other child artists uh, and as laia mentioned she's actually the collector of laia's first uh, digital art nft so um, she's doing some amazing work for the community and that is what the nft space is all about it's it's all about the community so while we are here let's take a look at an acrylic painting that's that's right here uh, talk to us about this lab this was actually my first uh, acrylic painting that i did uh, i wanted to do an abstract uh, painting and this is a painting of an ancient woman and uh, you can see my signature down that's my signature uh, this uh, is a very unique and one of my favorite paintings. It's beautiful. All right. So let's, uh, before we move on to the next artworks, I wanted to ask Yaroslav a little bit about um, Art to Coffee and uh, what his vision is for the project. Yeah, uh, thank you very much for inviting me uh, to this uh, wonderful uh, walk through uh, through this uh, labyrinth. Uh, so art and coffee, uh, it's in the uh, name of the idea. Uh, I have own a couple of uh, plots like this ones so in the virtual land and I created galleries and uh, one podcasting studio there. And uh, the idea is to host uh, exhibitions of uh, various artists, give them platform to showcase their art in 3D, but also for, to be place for uh, all other for people from the community or even people that just uh, like art and uh, would like to for, uh, to see it in the 3D space. So for, you can do in these galleries or places uh, what you would uh, what you can do in a normal physical cafe. Just come there, for, meet with friends, uh, talk with colleagues, hold uh, business meetings, uh, whatever you are comfortable to do in uh, public uh, public space. And you can do that in a uh, very beautiful environment uh, with um, galleries where uh, typically uh, the art changes every week. So if, uh, you have uh, uh, something to come back to and uh, check out uh, new artists, uh, discover new styles, uh, come to events that uh, uh, I uh, and uh, other curators uh, make in these galleries and uh, just be part of the community, have fun and uh, uh, chill out in these spaces. That's amazing. I love what you're doing, Yaroslav. All right, so here we see another um, acrylic painting by Laia. She has a whole collection of acrylic paintings as well. Uh, that's That was before she started doing digital painting. So I, I love that uh, evolution. Um, now we are looking at the precursor, which is by another one of my favorite artists, the Archangel. Archangel um, is uh, again from India and he has been making these uh, amazing gothic uh, memento mori style uh, 3D animations and stills from uh, from his studio and this is one of my favorite pieces uh, also because uh, I mean obviously it's because it's it's so it's so good uh, in terms of the detailing and uh, the uh, amount of work that he has put into this, but uh, I also love the the mythological story behind it. Um, so go check it out. Uh, it's also in my personal collection. You'll find a QR code here. Um, any any artwork that is in the Mayaverse collection, uh, you can scan the QR code, or you can go to mayaverse.art. That is mayaverse.art uh, slash collection, and you will find all of our uh, pieces that are in in our personal collection over there. Uh, on this other wall, we have immersion by another one of my favorite uh, artists, Render Fruit. Uh, you can actually see Render Fruit's interview that I took a few months ago on our YouTube channel. So uh, go check it out and that you, that will uh, give you a better understanding of Render Fruit and her work. Uh, then we have a few more pieces here. Let's keep moving. La, tell us a little bit about this. Uh, this is from an artist uh, called Kiriaki. She 
is from Greece. She is an amazing photographer and most of our uh, artworks are dark and very meaningful and I, I really like her artworks. They're amazing. They truly are. Uh, and we had the pleasure of uh, meeting Kiriaki yesterday in the launch party for the Labyrinth uh, exhibit that we had on Clubhouse yesterday. So it was it was amazing to get to know her. And on this wall, we have another one of my favorite artists. His name is J. Harry Edmiston. And he has actually created a, a gorgeous short film which he then later minted as an NFT. Uh, this is a, a short film that he shot in India uh, and with uh, some handloom workers. And what I admire about this work is the way J. Harry actually captures the emotions of people, the depth in his work, uh, the, the lighting that he uh, captures in all of these uh, short films, there are actually three short films. This is the second in the series called Further Moment. Um, you can find all of those three uh, short films on Zora. And here you can find Laia's Genesis digital artwork. Laia, talk to us about this one. This was my uh, first uh, NFT that I minted. Um, I wanted to, uh, I always like to take static uh, images and things from real life and convert that into an animation. So this was inspired from a, a similar image online and I wanted to animate it. And that's uh, where the inspiration and uh, everything came from. Beautiful. And here's another work by Kiriaki. Uh, I think it's called War Child. I love that one. Um, what are we looking at now, Laya? So this is an artwork that uh, depicts Charlie Chaplin, a uh, famous actor. Uh, this was made by Khan. Uh, he is um, an illustrator. So this was made on the day of Charlie Chaplin's birthday and it's on foundation. Uh, you can go and check it out. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, we are looking at yet another long necky by Nyla here. And then on the left, we have the Glowing Rock by Tammy Lovin. She's a Romanian artist and she created these uh, imaginary uh, rocks uh, from from a lot of research and she has put a lot of thought behind this. So this is actually her take on a imaginary fictitious rock which has uh, bioluminescent bacteria inside it. So uh, imagine a rock uh, that is glowing. So that's what this is about. And each rock has a, uh, has a emotional characteristic to it. So uh, she has a whole collection of uh, different rocks that each have a different thought and a different idea behind it. And they each represent a different emotional state of mind. So go look it up uh, and uh, use the QR, QR code. Uh, this is on Rarible, so you'll be able to go check it out. All right, so we are at the middle of uh, the exhibit now. Here's yet another uh, acrylic painting by Laia. And right next to it, is uh, another VR uh, artwork by Swan VR. Swan VR is a, a pioneer and, and she's doing some great work in the VR space. So this one is actually uh, on known origin and on known origin, you can interact with the art piece in, in virtual reality by, uh, or even on your computers by uh, just using your mouse to turn it around and you can zoom in and really get uh, up close and personal with the art piece. So this is a, a very good example of how digital art is actually pushing the boundaries of um, how uh, you can interact with the art piece itself. It gives you much more um, control and much, many more avenues of interacting with it. Okay, so, all right. What are we looking at now, Laya? This is also another art piece of uh, News TV. Uh, this is also from our um, young collection. 
um, yeah, it's it's very. She always tries to use very bright colors and uh, sparkling colors, and uh, this is one of my uh, favorite artwork of her collection. Great, love the use of colors there. All right, how about this one? Uh, so this, I guess, the thing behind this artwork is to is um, he says that uh, humans are not the ones who uh, who are um, there on planet. There are other people like aliens too. I guess that's the concept behind this art. He is a very famous uh, photographer and uh, amazing uh, artist. Great, yeah, and here's another one from his collection there. And this is a picture that I took in um, Arches National Park, Utah, and I animated it uh, and animated the skies. This is the picture of a delicate arch. Uh, it's, it's, it's a gorgeous natural structure in the Arches National Park. So I thought just, I'm not an artist, but I wanted to experience how it is for an artist to mint an NFT and post their NFT on a market base. So I actually went through that process and uh, I really like this. So I wanted to everybody to know that even if you are not an artist yourself or you're not a photographer yourself, um, the NFT space actually gives you the power to uh, create content and post them and if somebody likes them they can actually own that uh, content from you so uh, this actually democratizes the entire process uh, of content creation so if if you're already posting your pictures on instagram uh, you can actually create an nft out of it it's really that simple so that that's the only reason why i added this uh, humble photograph of mine amongst the work of a uh, lot of actually talented and great artists All right, so I know we didn't talk about a few pieces, uh, but I really want everyone to come into this exhibit. Uh, it's going to be around for a few more days and uh, come and experience each one of those pieces uh, themselves uh, so that uh, they they get to experience virtual reality and they you get to experience the future of art galleries and art exhibition. Uh, Laya, any, any uh, final thoughts that you want to uh, bring up and uh, uh, let people know what, uh, why they should be here, and the treasure hunt, of course. Yes, sure. Uh, so uh, I, so I wanted to create a gallery which uh, reflects the thoughts of an artist. Every artist has a unique and special thought uh, around them, and that is beautiful in its own way. And makes a level net seem like a perfect representation of it. And that's when I came to the idea of creating a maze. The cool part of the labyrinth is uh, a treasure hunt. There is a six letter word hidden in the maze. Um, so the one who finds it, the visitors who finds it, uh, can send the secret word to me. And uh, if you send, you will be getting a 10% off on selected artworks in the labyrinth. Thank you, Laya. That that was amazing, and thank you so much, uh, both Laya and Yaroslav, for being here today and uh, taking us through this exhibit. Uh, this will be uh, posted on YouTube soon, so that uh, even after these artworks are taken down and we are ready for the next exhibit uh, in this space, uh, people can still experience. Uh, what was done as part of this concept and uh, they can always look at this video. Um, so thank you both for uh, being here today and answering all my questions and uh, talking to us all about these wonderful artists. Thank you very much. Thanks, Laya. Thanks, Yaroslav. Thank you.